Please be seated. We are gathered in the presence of God to give thanks for the gift of marriage, to witness the joining together of Luke Sieber Barber and Caitlin McKenzie Robbins, to surround them with our prayers and to ask God's blessing upon them so strengthen their life together and nurture in their love for God. Hi, Kenny. God gave us marriage so that the two may comfort one another living faithfully in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health throughout all their days. God gave us marriage for the full expression of love. In marriage, the two belong to one another and with affection and tenderness, freely give themselves to one another. God gave us marriage as a holy mystery in which the two are joined together as one, just as Christ is one with the church. In marriage, you are called to a new way of life, created, ordered, and blessed by God. This way of life may not be entered into carelessly or from selfish motives, but responsibly and prayerfully. We rejoice that marriage is given by God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and sustained by the Holy Spirit. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Let us join together in prayer. Gracious God, you are always faithful to us. Look mercifully upon Luke and Caitlin who have come seeking your blessing. Let your Holy Spirit rest upon them so that with steadfast love they may honor the promises this day through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. Caitlin? Having heard how God has created, ordered, and blessed the covenant of marriage, do you affirm that it is your desire and intention to enter into this covenant? If so, say, I do. Luke, having heard the same words about this covenant of marriage, do you affirm your desire and intention to enter into this marriage? If so, say, I do. I, do. I invite you to listen, I invite all of us to listen to God's word for us today through the words of the Old Testament book of Ruth chapter 1, verses 16 and 17, which must be read in the King James Version. And Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. <laughs> and where thou will lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Where thou diest, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. Those words, as we talked about, are not words from one person to another who are about to be married, but it's from one woman to another. It's from one widow to another. It's from a daughter-in-law to a mother-in-law. And daughter-in-law Ruth, says to her mother these words, her mother-in-law, Naomi. But I think the thing that why we use them so much when we, when we enter into or when we come to weddings, to a marriage ceremony, is because of what they say about the basis of the relationship between human beings, which is love, that commitment. What's interesting is what Ruth basically says to Naomi in these two words. Basically what she says is, you're not getting rid of me. You're not getting rid of me. <laughs> now that doesn't translate very smoothly into what's going on right here, and yet it really does. Because in just a few moments, you're going to be making those ancient vows to one another in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, in plenty and in want. Those are words that we almost gloss over nowadays because we've heard them so much, but the reality is that life is going to bring times of plenty, but it's also going to bring times of want. It's going to bring times of uh, joy, but there'll be times of sorrow. There's going to be health, and there's going to be sickness. And so, though it's not very romantic, probably the best 
vow that you are making to one another today comes from what Ruth says to us. You are together saying, you are not getting rid of me. And so with that, join your right hands and make your commitments to one another. Join right hands and face one another. Because <laughs> this is a deal you got to shake off. <laughs> Luke, repeat after me. I lose. Take I lose. Okay. But I finish. You can start. I lose. Take you, Caitlin. I lose. To be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. Caitlin, repeat after me. I, Caitlin, take you, Luke, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful wife in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. What do you bring as signs of your promise? Let us pray. By your blessing, O God, may these rings be to Lude and Caitlin symbols of unending love and faithfulness, reminding them of the covenant they have made this day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Luke, you would take Caitlin's ring and place it on her right finger and repeat after me. With this ring I be with. With this ring I be with. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Caitlin, place it on his right finger. With this ring I be wed, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us join in prayer. Eternal God, without your grace, no promise is sure. Strengthen, lute, and Caitlin with patience kindness, gentleness, and all the other gifts of your spirit so that they may fulfill the vows they have made. Keep them faithful to each other and to you. Fill them with such love and joy that they may build a home of peace and welcome. Guide them by your word to serve you all their days. Enable us all, O oh God, in each of our homes and lives to live your will. Enrich us with your grace so that encouraging and supporting one another we may serve those in need and hasten the coming of peace, love, and justice on earth. And now as your Son has taught us, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever and ever. Before God, and before these witnesses, Lou and Caitlin have made their solemn vows to one another. They've confirmed their promises by the joining of hands, and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Luke and Caitlin, as a ring symbolizes your love for one another, so a kiss symbolizes the emotion of the moment more than the heat. So if you would, Luke, kiss your bride. 